Boston, Massachusetts, the destination for the Mavericks, enigmatic. That may be the only way to describe Kyrie Irving and his incredible handle. The sharpshooting playmaker is the focus of the offense as they get pumped up before the tip-off against the Celtics. Mavs, Celtics, the NBA Finals continue. Will it end tonight? That's the question as one team battles to shut the door on the season. Another hopes to stave off defeat. The NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan. And joining us tonight, Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. And reporting from the sidelines, our very own David Aldridge. Now, a look at Dallas's starting lineup. The star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. Jones is out there with Washington. And it's Gafford into the five down low. And for the Celtics. The wing pairing, it's White and Brown. Porzingis is out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Holiday in at the point guard position. Take a look at the Mavericks. They've had some chances in this series, but haven't been able to take advantage. Great tonight is their last chance. And Kevin, there are no tomorrows uh -uh. unless it's vacation planning. <laughs> but talking to them, they're not ready to concede. If they win here, they go home for game six. And if they can win that, boy, anything is possible in a game seven. Now, here's Doncic. Jones finds Gafford. Here's Washington. And Thump. All on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. I think you have to admire the aggressiveness with which P.J. Washington plays every single night. This is his first trip to the line tonight. He doesn't get the second one. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for Boston. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. First personal foul. The Celtics shooting their first foul shots of the night here. At the line, Drew Holiday. That free throw good from Drew Holiday. He makes one of two that time. Here's Doncic. Here's Washington. And then Washington with the dunk. It's one of the best things about playing with Luka Doncic. He creates a lot of open looks. Now here's Tatum. On the wing, Holiday. From about 16, Porzingis can't hit. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. Oh, fantastic dunk. And, and he hangs around up there just for a little camera time. Yeah, maybe he didn't want to land awkwardly. Who knows? But there he is, and we see it very clearly. Here's Holiday. The Mavericks making the shot. Right side, Tatum. Stays with it and hits the off-balance shot. Yeah, you have to be able to take mid-range jumpers at times. I know it's not a high-value shot, but for Tatum, sometimes that's what the defense gives him. Irving kicks to Doncic. Trying to get open is Irving. Passes it to White. And the rejection by Gafford. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Washington. Celtics have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Holiday, the pass to Tatum. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Luka Doncic. That'll be his second foul second of the game. Personal foul. That's his second foul second already. Foul. And that's going to force him Checking to tone down his aggression defensively. Hardy, he's checked in for Dallas. Now here's Tatum. Launches it. Bangs home the trifecta. Tatum's got five. Jason Tatum has built such consistency from beyond the arc. Doesn't matter if there's a contest or not. Irving for three. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Three. And guys getting into a nice groove here. Starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Now, here's Brown. Outside, Brzingis. 
The shot's good. Brown making the play. Well, the unicorn, Mr. Porzingis, the answer from three, his specialty. Irving for three. Another three for Dallas. 80% from the field to start, playing with a ton of confidence. And White kicks to Holland. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. And he gets the butt. Oh, a nifty finisher. You didn't think Holiday would back down inside, did you? And here's Harvey. Pass to Washington. And the rejection by Tatum. Inside. And the dunk by Tatum. Yeah, Porzingis, because he's a scoring threat, that's going to open up opportunities for him to find his teammates. And it'll be the Mavericks with their first timeout here of the game. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Well, this is the chess match. Looking ahead a few moves and trying to execute toward that. And so it's Irving. He brings it up for Dallas. They trail by three. A big win for them coming off a strong game on Friday. And they really got after it from a defensive standpoint throughout that entire game. The turnovers they forced really tell the story. There, there has to be a willingness to take chances, jumping for steals, getting out in passing lanes, and all of that worked in their favor. Oh, just incredible that spin. Shook and loose from the defender, but he just couldn't gather his balance there to follow through with the shot. I'll tell you, most of the time, this guy's going to finish that. But that was tremendous defense that prohibits him from completing the play. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Jump ball. And so it's Dallas with it. Mavericks have gone 5 of 8 from the field, shooting over 62%. The pass to Gaffer. Back to Irving. To the middle. Six to shoot. Here's Jones. Some solid defense from Brown. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. And what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. Here's Irving. Jason Tatum picking up that last basket. Jones, great positioning on the putback. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. Side Tatum. Shoots over Gafford. Tatum's shot is off. The Mavericks trail. Washington finds Irving. It's up a three. They get it again. Gafford. They shoot again. He takes it up and lays it in. Taking back the lead once more. Give these teams credit. Man, they are battling. Neither team willing to give an inch, and neither able to seize the momentum. This has been a fascinating one to watch. And so it's Boston with it, following the score by Dallas. The shot by Holiday, no good. Hardy passes to Irving. Now here's Hardy. One nineteen left in the first quarter of the game. Some nice passing here by Dallas. Here's Washington. And Tatum pulls it down. Boston's gone 2-2 two two from three-point range here in the first quarter. A holiday. And here's Persingas for a three. Does not find the basket. His second miss. He's now one for three. There's 49 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Porzingis against Gafford. Outside Irving. For the three. And the basket for the fourth time from the field. He's a healthy four three for points. six. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. To the paint. Here's White. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. That's all about determination from Derek White. Doesn't let the contact deter him. Shot and game block separated by five. Irving passes to Hardy. Always going up for the alley here. And Jones 
defense at home. Assisted by Chemistry you. at its best. An unreal alley-oop. Yeah, you're right. The pass, the catch, the dunk. All of it perfect. Tatum passes to Persingas. The shot's good. Persingas has got five points so far. Yeah, the evolution of Tatum as a passer is evident. This guy more committed than ever to making the right play. What a performance for Kyrie Irving. He has been the story for the Mavericks. And it was from three-point range where he did the most damage. He knocked down three in that quarter. Back to the action in just a minute. on 2K Sports. What a time of year. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Mavericks. Yeah, they look to fire as much as possible from outside the arc, and so far they are hitting at a high clip. And they've also shown dominance in the paint so far tonight, really putting the work in down low. Austin trailing on the floor for Dallas. At the guard positions, it's Doncic and Hardaway Jr., Kleba is out there with Exum, and it's Lively in its center. To the inside. Tillman shot is good. Tillman's got his first basket of the night. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established a great inside position. There's the steal. Here's Pritchard. Seven-foot shot. Again, the Zelda's good for two. And it's a great piece of work to get to the hoop there. Just tore the D to shreds. Pass to Lively. Kleba with it. Anjic outside. Five on the clock. Outside Hardaway. Three-pointer. Horford with the rebound. The Celtics with the lead. Break their offensive approach has been rock solid here. And they're finding the weak spots in the D and attacking them. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Near the three-point line, it's Doncic. It's good for a second make. He's made two or three so far. Listen, this guy has off-the-charts basketball IQ. Luka Doncic understands when to get into that pull-up game. It's Brown on the win. Hands it from downtown. Brown's got the lead up to three now for the Celtics. But you love the activity out there. What a play. This guy is busy on the offensive end. Passes it to Lively. Pitch outside. Offline with his three. And I thought that was going to drive. It looked good from here. Here's Pritchard. Guarded by Doncic. Doncic with the block. Boy, Luka has decided he wants to become a more complete defensive player. How about twice on the pipes? John Green is checked in for Dallas. Here's Pritchard. Brown outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Bowser the pass to Pritchard. Kept alive by Boston. A nice shot by Brown. Now Jalen Brown's athleticism makes him a factor on the glass. Nice job getting those second chance points. Now here's Green. Defense right on him. Probably the pass to Doncic. Rebounded by the Celtics. Here's Hauser. Hasn't made one yet. Outside, Horford. Brown outside. The shot's good on the assist by Horford. And he has really come to life here after a slow start in that first quarter. Mavericks trail by eight. 
now. Here's Doncic. Pass to Lively. Here's Kleba, guarded by Horford. Kleba, the pass to Hardaway. Dallas needs to get off a shot. That's out of bounds. The man works able to retain possession here. Wall. Derek White checked in for the Celtics. Holiday comes in for Pritchard. Dwight Powell's checked in for Dallas. Fires from way outside. Hardaway, no good. Here's Boston now. They've got a 12-2 run in progress. Holiday against Green. A shot by Holiday, no good. Average trail by eight. Green kicks to Doncic. Now the pass to Pop. Horford with the rebound. Horford's got four rebounds in this game. Round down low. Guarded by Doncic. And it's Brown missing. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for Dallas. Here's Lively. And he makes good on the lane. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. And to me, this is a common theme that's running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out rather than box out. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. Some noise, man. this is checked in for the Celtics. Tatum comes in for Brown. P.J. Washington, he's checked in for Dallas. Kyrie Irving comes in for Hardaway. Holiday finds White. Outside Tatum. Ah, Tatum an assassin. Oh, great ball movement there. Average trail by nine. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Perfect. He gets it to drop, and now he's shooting at a five for eight clip. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Here's Persingas. The dunk and the foul. A powerhouse move, and he's got a chance for one more at the line. It's on Luka Doncic. Guys, how about that body control from Porzingis? You think it's easy at seven foot three to gut your way through that kind of contact? That's nice. A different look for Dallas. Jones checked in for Josh Green. And it's Hardy in for Luka Doncic. Pass to Powell. And here is Washington. Irving surveying the floor. Lock at six. Hardy, no good. Celtics leading by 10. Here's Tatum. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Second team. From the moment Jason Tatum stepped into this league, he has been a guy who has wanted the burden offensively, and he has delivered. Hardy passes to Jones. Here's Washington. Porzingis with the block. White against Irving. Here's Holiday. A second chance effort. A rebound by Washington. Well, defensively, if you allow him to get this close, you're playing with fire. He just happened to miss that one. Jones, no luck. And he saw the play develop, but the pass just wasn't there. It was a really good thought for sure, but the lob has got to be better than that. Here's White. Boston again missing. Mavericks trail by 13. Down low. That one no good. Excellent D there from Holiday. Seconds left to play in the first half. Off on the lane. Hardy passes to Jones. Here's Irving. 
and he uses the glass on the way. Irving's got 15. Well, Kyrie may be the best finishing guard in the history of the game. His ability to contort his body or spin the basketball ridiculous. And so it's the Boston Celtics holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. Their defense has been active and effective. We'll return shortly. Please give a big round of applause for your Celtics youth team. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey folks, we hope you've enjoyed the first half. Taking a look at the Celtics, they've been in control for most of this series and put together another solid half of basketball tonight. You know they can smell that championship, hoping to close things out now in the second half of this game five. And let's get your thoughts, big fella, on the Celtics. Ball movement was a real factor for them. They played unselfishly, they were patient. Guys got shots in their favorite spots. You get those high percentage looks, good things tend to happen. Kenny, how do you think Dallas played? Ice cold, frigid from beyond the arc. The question is now, can they shake it off and get back in the groove? Another option is compensate by going to the rim. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Go to Kevin Harlan. Glad to have you with us here as we bring you more action from courtside at Game 5. You know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. And with all the pressure he must have felt coming into this one, it didn't phase him one bit. Fantastic start. Boy, he has been locked in, all about business, just going out there and doing what he does best. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. The wing pairing, it's White and Brown. Jason Tatum is out there with Porzingis. And it's Holiday in a point. And that's the group for Joe Missoula as we begin the second half. Boy, what a pass by Jalen Brown. Probably one of his most improved areas. Doncic kicks to Jones. Pass to Gaffney. Jits outside. Pass to Washington. From downtown, gets it to go from beyond the arc. Washington. Washington's got five points so far. I'll tell you, he'll take that all day, every day. I'm sure he was shocked to find himself that wide open. There's Brown with the three, and he's good on the three ball. Brown's got the lead up to 13 now for the Celtics. Gafford finds Jones. Irving up top. Mike covering. That's slammed in by Jones. Jr. It's hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Well, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley-oop. Brown outside. No good on the triple. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. against Irving and the lead is down inside single digits 17 points in the game wow what a start for this half three for three dictating the pace on the offensive end they're rolling early right down low he's covered by Irving and it's White missing and it's Irving with the ball for Dallas nine point game Lays it up and banks it in. Time out, time out. Irving's got four points this quarter. And they're Boston. forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Timeout called the Celtics. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. Well, night in and night out, sometimes it's a battle of runs. Who has the most? Pritchard, he's checked in for Drew Holiday. And the Mavericks making a change here. Here's Pritchard, and the pass to Tatum, the three, offensive rebound. A 
I love the determination he showed here, getting himself into good position under the glass. With the presence of mind to you know just where the rebound is going to come down. Well timed. Well, we're into the third quarter, just over two and a half minutes play. And the officials will call the illegal shooting right there. When a pick like that is questionable, it creates that much of an advantage for the offense. You have to blow the whistle. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Daniel Gaffer. A fadeaway. It's rebounded by Dallas. Well, seized up just a little bit at the last second. That's one he normally converts. Here's Doncic. Soft touch on the floater from Doncic. Wow, five straight buckets coming out of half. They are rolling. Brown outside. It's good from long range. Brown's got a pair of threes now here in the third for Boston. And with that three, his second of the half, he's equaled his total from before the break. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. And that one drops for him. Hardaway, Hardaway has got his first points of the night. Just no resistance inside at all. They are feasting. This is a straight buffet. It is. It's a big one. And load the plate. Here's Pritchard. Good. And it's Tatum picking up the assist. And the Celtics lead by 10. How many times have we seen a possession to pick that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a break. Here's Weifel. Conjures outside. Moving against Brown. On the wing. Here's Weifel. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Now Horford's checked in for the Celtics. And Dallas with a change here too. Exum, he's checked in for Luka Doncic. Here's Pritchard, covered by Irving. And the shot is good. Pritchard's got four points in the quarter. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. And the Mavericks call time here. You look at Jalen Brown, what a contribution. Well, I think this is a necessary timeout so they can figure out a way to limit the impact this guy's having from three-point range. They've got to dedicate more resources to their perimeter D. Green is checked in for Kyrie Irving. The Celtics Entertainment. Hardaway. A rebound by the Celtics. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Here's Hauser. Scoreless thus far. Two minutes remaining. Here's Tillman. And there are the Celtics with another basket. What an effective, efficient offensive possession. They'd love to get that shot every trip down the floor. To Lively. Now, Kleba. Outside, Green. Three pointer. Rebounded by Hauser. Boston leading by 11. Pritchard gets the bucket. Pritchard's got eight points. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Outside, Hardaway. Stupendous finish in traffic. Hardaway has got his second bucket of the game to go. Well, in today's NBA, you've got to be able to play in pick and roll, and Hardaway doing work right there. Here's Pritchard, headed by Green. Shot clock at five. Here's Pritchard. Got a hand on it. Now, Green. 
36 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Brown against Hardaway. And it's off from three-point range. Celtics leading by 11. Kicks it to Horford. Seconds left in the third. Hard away against Brown. Puts up a deep three. The shot, no good. And so it's Boston. Their lead of 11 points to end the quarter. They're feeling very confident, shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. On the floor for Dallas starting the fourth quarter here. The star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. Daniel Gafford is out there with Washington. And it's Exum in at the small forward position. He is too good a shooter, guys, to be left open like that. The defense just dodged a bullet there. Tatum no good. Mavericks trail by 11. He gets it to fall. That Jay makes it just a single-digit lead. Just good, aggressive drive from him that time. Found a hole in the D and went straight to the rim. Outside, Holiday. This is it to Horford. The kick out to Tatum. Over Exum. Here's Persingas. And the rejection by Gafford. And that's out of bounds. It was last touch by Gafford. And the Mavericks making a change here. Jones has checked in. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. Bounce pass. Holiday. Just five to shoot. A three from Porzingis. And Jones pulls it down. Jones has got four rebounds in this game. Pass to Doncic. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Well, this guy is so effective with the pump fake. Luka Doncic gets the defender off his feet. Beautiful. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Boston. Well, I've been impressed with the ball movement all game long. They're really looking to just make that extra pass. I think the other thing we're seeing tonight is the floor spacing of this team. Boy, they are shooting the cover off the basketball all game. Holiday finds Tatum outside White. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Gentlemen, that is about excellent concentration from Derek White. You play through the foul. Now you get the old-fashioned three-point opportunity. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Anjic passes to Jones. And here is Washington. Drills the three-pointer. Washington. Washington's got five points now in the quarter. Maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot that he can afford to get. Holiday against Doncic. It's stolen by Jones. Doncic looking it over. Here's Washington. And he overshot that one, missing. Boy, what a job defensively. You couldn't play that any better. Here's White. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And the Celtics lead by nine. Oh, that is impressive stuff from Derek White. Defender in his grill, no problem. 
Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. No one near Doncic as he lets it fly. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. Holiday, the pass to Tatum. Gafford against Porzingis. Here's Horford. Misses in close. Boy, that's the kind of look this offense is designed to create. That's just a tough miss. Here's the pass to Jones. Gafford against Porzingis. Doncic outside. There's three pointers off the mark. What a nice individual defensive effort right there. Did a great job contesting. Count it. And it's seven points for Drew Holiday. Great finish. What a setup. Terrific ball movement there. And the Mavericks call time here. And at this point of the game, getting a break here, important for the teams to regroup and for the players. This is where you have a chance to get rehydrated with Gatorade. Get ready to play strong to finish off the game. Celtics making a switch here. Brown's checked in. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to listen in on what Jason Kidd was talking about with his players. They said, let's lock in, keep our focus. We need everyone down the stretch. Now his players looked engaged, so I think the message got across. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, David. Holiday with it. Brown outside. Shot clock at three. It's rebounded by Doncic. And this is exactly what you have to do to stop him. That was a tremendous contest, forcing the miss. And it's Washington missing. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. We call that a great contest. You know this is something he brings to the table, the ability to anchor your defense. Porzingis finds White. Out to Porzingis. And here's Tatum for three. Mavericks with the rebound. Terrific close out there. The challenge for three. It may be the hardest thing to do in basketball. Close under control, and he's more than up to the task. As to Porzingis. Nice job down low. Boy, and boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. Now, here's Doncic. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. 1.57 left to play here in the fourth. Holiday with the puck. An aggressive defender who pressures ball handlers. Nobody should be surprised to see Holiday sending shots away. P.J. Washington, first personal foul, second team foul. First free throw is good, and that will put them up by nine. Hardaway's checked in for Dallas. And so Tatum nails them both. Here's Doncic. There's 138 left in the fourth quarter. Passes to Gaffer. That's out of bounds. The Mavericks are able to retain possession here. Well, three for Doncic. Do you love how Holiday can get in a guy's shirt defensively without foul? Brown outside. Shot clock at six. Got it. Number seven on the night. Seven for 11 from the floor. And wow, that's the end of an epic journey taken by both these teams in unbelievable fashion. Get the NBA title rings ready for 
specificity for the Celtics. Luka. In the end, they had a better shooting percentage, and that's what made the difference. Sometimes, you know, things go your way. The other team wasn't catching any lucky breaks themselves. Yeah, and, and Kevin, not all about luck. I thought their overall shot selection was better. And they are just moments away from lifting the trophy. Thanks to a rousing performance here in Game 5. Yeah, it was really just a remarkable effort tonight, and you can see how much this title means to this team. They are extremely deserving champions, and they are going to enjoy this celebration for quite a while. And one of the league's top talents, game in and game out, and doing it here again in this one. A terrific night for Jalen Brown. You look at the energy he brought on both ends of the floor, and it's easy to see why he was a difference maker. One free throw good from Brown. You have to admire the growth of Jalen Brown. He comes in as an attacking athlete. He's now a better passer, and he absolutely is a knockdown three-point shooter. Here's Hardaway, and it's sent back by White. On the wing, Brown shoots it. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Now you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. And they should, because it's when you start turning down that kind of look that your offense can start to bog down a bit. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. And the Celtics lead by 15. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. What an impressive performance, to say the least. At this point, it looks insurmountable. Porzingis with the block. A swat Yay! by Porzingis. That wingspan let you know he's in the house. And the Boston Celtics have the done Celtics. it. They are now the and NBA the champions. The Mavericks. 61. And all you can say is congratulations. So they have done it. A lot of relief right now. The emotions swelling up from all the weight being lifted and winning it all. Wow. You have to hand it to the entire organization. They work together to get right here. And guys, what a reward for the fan base. I mean, I know one thing. They're going to enjoy this memory for a long, long time. And we have enjoyed our time with you folks all season long. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long. Have a wonderful summer.